Hello everyone and welcome back to this uh, lesson, this dance lesson. We are still looking at dinosaurs. So I hope you enjoyed last week's lesson. Um, last week we looked at different kinds of dinosaurs and what they look like and how they move. Some were very big and tall, so they move very slowly because um, they were very heavy. Some were very quick and small and fast. And we're going to look at three different kinds of dinosaurs today and how they survived. Because it's a very, very scary time when the dinosaurs were around and there were some huge dinosaurs. Well, all dinosaurs were trying to eat other dinosaurs. A lot of them were anyway. Um, the meat eater ones. And so the poor dinosaurs had to constantly hide and run and develop ways and evolve how they were going to survive. So that's what we're going to look at today. So first of all, let's do a warm up. We're going to do our musical chair, musical chairs, musical statues. I'd love to have space for chairs, but I don't think that would work. But let's do musical uh, statues. So when I say statues, I mean really freeze, super, super still. Okay, and then when the music goes, you can do whatever kind of dancing you like. But let's get really warm and get our heads and our bodies ready for dance. Ready, I'm gonna put the music on. Let's go. Here we go. going for the music well done freeze any position you like it doesn't have to be a dinosaur position but you have to be as still as a fossil exactly well done and go <laughs> And lovely, I wish I could see your shapes. Freeze! Well done. Okay, something different again. I'm gonna go on a high level this time. Good. <laughs> Even though your heart's beating like mine, keep still and go. Done. I bet you did some fantastic shapes. So remember when we do those shapes, we can go on a high level, a middle level, or a very low level on the floor, okay? Whichever level you want, and that makes our dances look really interesting. So the next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the honey pot. We've done this before, where we hold our honey pot, but this time, because we're in thinking about dinosaurs, I always think about in the jungle. And in the jungle there were lots and lots of trees. And this is where a lot of dinosaurs lived. And the trees were absolutely enormous. They were so huge and there were so many of them. A lot of the land was covered in trees and ferns, and bushes and all kinds of jungly plants and trees. So in the trees, there's something called sap, which is very sticky. And so what I thought we could do is instead of playing honey pot, we could play the sap game. So the sap comes out of the trees and actually helps move, move nutrients, which is food and water, around for the trees. So sap's very important, but I thought we can play it in our game. So we're going to have a pot, not full of honey, full of sap that you'd find in the jungle at the time of the dinosaurs. So let's put our hands, actually no, let's put our elbows in. Here we go, I want to get your elbow completely covered in sticky sap. Ooh, delicious. Right, put your pot, sap pot down, okay? And one with our sticky, sticky elbows, I want you to look around your room and stick your elbows to something that's green. What is green in your room? Now I've got a lovely green plant in the corner, so I'm gonna stick both my elbows very gently, because I don't want to damage the leaves to the plant. So can you do that? Can you find something green? Good, okay. Well done. This time, can you stick your sticky elbows to something that's soft? Anything in your room that's soft. Now, I 
can stick it to myself because my t-shirt's very soft. So I'm gonna stick my elbows to myself, but it might be a chair, a cushion, if you've got a nice soft carpet or somebody else, if you're with them, they can be quite soft sometimes, but be gentle, don't elbow them. Okay, so sticky elbows, good. This time, can you stick your elbows to something made of metal? Ooh, let's have a look. I've got my radiator here, so I'm gonna stick that to my radiator, but it could be a door handle, it could be a nail, it doesn't have to be something big, it could be something very, very small. Okay, well done. Get your sap pot back, full of sticky sap. And, are you ready? We're gonna dip in our feet. <gasps> Here we go, we're gonna balance. One sticky foot, another sticky foot, yes. Okay, put the pot down. Right, your sticky feet, I want you to stick to something grey. Hmm, what's grey? Oh, I've got my plug sockets are grey here, so I'm going to stick my feet to them. Okay, anything grey in your room, anything at all, doesn't matter at all. Maybe it's that something metal is grey as well. Good, unstick your feet, stick, stick. Can you stick your feet to your own feet? So stick them together. That's good, very sticky together. And if you're with someone else, that's really nice as well. You can stick your feet to their feet as well. That's a nice one. But if you're on your own like me, you can just stick your feet to your own feet. Good. And the last one, this is the funnest one. Can you stick your feet very carefully to a wall? Okay. No, don't fall over. Don't lose your balance. You can do one foot. If you're very clever, you can bring your bottom off the floor. Okay or you can just stick your feet to the wall like that. Good, give them a tap. Well done. Unstick, ugh, ugh. Right, let me show you some pictures. Now, in the dinosaur times, it actually went on for a very, very long time. And there were different periods of time. If we looked on a big timeline, this is what we'd see. So, we would see the Triassic period, and this was the period that was sort of longest to go, furthest to go. And this is about sort of 200 million years ago. Okay, it stretches from about 250 to 200 million years ago. So that's a really long time ago. The next one is Jurassic period. You might have heard of this with the film Jurassic Park. <laughs> so this one was about 200 million years ago. 200 million years ago, can you imagine how long ago that was? And then the final one was the Cretaceous period. And this is about 100 million years ago. 145 to 65 million years ago. So we have Cretaceous period, we have Jurassic period, and we have the Triassic period. So these are three stages of dinosaurs, and there's lots of different dinosaurs that would evolved over this time. And the final one, uh-oh, extinct. And what does extinct mean? That's right, there are no more, there are no longer, that species doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call out these different periods. I'm gonna lay them down so I can see. And I, when I call out the name, you have to run to that different area in your room. So, let me put this. When I say Triassic, you have to run to this side of the room. Okay, now be careful because you might not have lots of space. So you can just put your hand on something. It could be a wall or it could be a sofa or a chair, something like that. So when I say Triassic, you have to run to that part of the room. When I say Jurassic, you have to run to the back of your room. Go, fast you can might not be very far, but that's okay. So Jurassic, and when I say Cretaceous, you have to run to the other side of the room. Go. Okay, so if we're in a big space, this is a really fun one. We get to run all over the place, don't we? So, Triassic. This side. Jurassic. Cretaceous. And if it's extinct, you have to lie down, dead on the floor. Okay, we are extinct, we are no longer in the middle of your space. Good, 
Okay, so that will be far too easy and you're far too good at this. So I'm gonna mix this all up. Jurassic, Jurassic, <laughs> Jurassic, Cretaceous, extinct, but I'm gonna mix them up already. Hmm, Cretaceous. Well done. Jurassic. Triassic. Jurassic. Extinct. Well done. Triassic. Cretaceous. Extinct. <laughs> Good. Jurassic. Ooh. And let's go Cretaceous. Well done. Good. So it's good to get those in our heads and have a little think about those different areas of the timeline when dinosaurs were around on the earth, which is pretty amazing. I'm going to show you a few other pictures as I come up from the depths. Now we are going to be looking at these dinosaurs today. These are some really crazy looking dinosaurs. This one is called a Psittacosaurus. Can you see that? Even though it begins with a P, a P, you actually say Psittacosaurus. And I had to practice that one quite a lot of times. Psittacosaurus, can you say it? Psittacosaurus. That's right, now this was in the Cretaceous period that we've just been talking about. So it was about 100 million years ago, this one roamed the earth. And this was about two meters long, which is about two guitars long. So if you think of a guitar, it's about two guitars long, which isn't that big for a dinosaur, is it? But I still think it would give you a shock if it walked into your living room. So this, this is our dinosaur. Now the thing about this one, which is amazing, is it changes colour. So a bit like a chameleon or something like that, it can change colour a little bit to blend in with its background and its habitat. So if it's in the jungle, it can go from a sort of greeny brown colour to, um, so it can hide, be camouflaged against predators. So if someone's looking for it, it can easily hide because it's a lot smaller than some of the bigger dinosaurs. So that one needs to hide. So that's the Psittacosaurus. Okay, our next one, you might know this one, it's called the Pterodactyl. Look at that, and this is one of my favorite ones. So this is a huge one. It's wingspan from here to here. So this is the wing tip, and that's the wing span from there to there, is six meters long. Six meters, so can you imagine a guitar is covers one, two, three, four, five, six, so six guitars long. So for a flying bird, that is huge. Okay, so it's massive, and obviously it could fly, so it could fly away from predators. Um, this one was in the Jurassic period, and um, I've just realised it says one metre wingspan. That's not right, is it? Because I've just told you it's six. But I think the baby ones had one, one metre wingspan, and the biggest ones had six metre wingspan. <laughs> um, so this was the Jurassic period, so that's about 150 million years ago. And this one also, if you can see, had a very long pointy beak and very sharp pointy teeth. And this was amazing because it would dive bomb, dive down to the sea and pick up things like fish very easily with its long, long pointy beak. So that one survived because it could fly and it was very, very fast. Okay, and our last one that we're gonna look at is the Compsognathus. Compsognathus, look at that one. Okay, this one was the Jurassic period as well. So this is a carnivore, so it's a meat eater, and it ate things like lizards and things, because it's not that big either, this one. Um, in fact, it's pretty small. It's about the size of a turkey, so it's not very big at all. But this one survived because it was really, really fast and had really sharp claws, can you see? So it's very fast, very small, so very low to the ground, and it could hide quickly and run out the way, and that's how it survived. So you've got our Compsognathus, we've got our Pterodactyl, and you've got our Psittacosaurus. And I thought we could make some dances up about these because they've got such brilliant words and such brilliant things that they do with their bodies. I thought that fits in really well with dance. 
So the first thing I thought was, if you stand in your space, I want you to imagine you've got really big wings, like a pterodactyl, they're spread out. I'm gonna wrap them around our body like that, good. So we're gonna wrap them around our body and then we're gonna jump forward as if you're shocking someone or surprising something, okay? So make sure you've got enough space and you're gonna open up your wings and look down like that, good. So wrap your arms around, you're gonna open your wings up like that. Then you're gonna flap your wings and we're gonna go down and we're gonna go all the way back up. Okay, really control your legs. No wobbling, all the way down. Good, all the way back up, well done. Okay, we're gonna pat our bodies, although we're changing color like the Psittacosaurus. So I thought if you pat your body, it's like we're changing color. Maybe we're changing color to a sort of brown and we're gonna hide near a tree so no dinosaurs can see where we are. So pat all your body. Very nice. Every little bit, you don't want any bit showing. Good. That's our camouflage. And then, like the Compasaurus, we're gonna zigzag our way across the space very fast. So we're gonna make a zigzag with our hands like this, but very, very fast. So change direction. I don't know if you've ever tried to catch a mouse or something very small, but they're really hard to catch because they constantly change direction and you don't know which way they're gonna go. And that's how this one survived. Zigzag, like that, exactly. Good. So we start with our arms wrapped around us. We're gonna jump forward. We're gonna flap our arms down. And all the way back up like a pterodactyl. Good. From here, we're going to um, pat our body. So we're changing colour. Good, all the way, both legs. Good. And then we're gonna zigzag. Good. Okay, so have those dinosaurs in mind when you're doing those movements. And let's try that with some music. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. So in dance we have lots of different speeds, sometimes we go very slowly, sometimes we go very fast, sometimes we go in the middle. There's lots of variations, we change all the time. Like our levels, high, middle and low, we have different speeds, so we mix it all up and it makes it look really, really interesting. So with our dinosaurs, we've got quite a few different speeds, haven't we? So this is actually quite slow, we've got our arms wrapped around us, but we're going to do quite a fast jump forward. Okay, and open up your arms so it's like a surprise. Okay, good. Show me again and really shock me. Go on. Yes. Okay, you can even make that noise if you like, if it helps. Then we go quite slowly because you've got to think of the pterodactyl's wingspan, not the baby one, but the biggest one is six meters. So big wings. That's like a big sail. We're going to go down and up down. Good. All that wind under the arms is going to make you fly for miles and miles. Good. Okay, so that's quite slow. Changing colour. If there's a big dinosaur coming, you want to change colour pretty quick to hide. So I think our patting needs to be quite fast, don't you? Should we see if we can pat? So let's pat our chest and down our leg. Quick, 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 quick. He's coming, he's coming. Maybe our back and our shoulders. Good head. Ooh, cheek. Quite fast, good, well done. And finally, we stop, hands together. So we go from fast patting to stop, 
and then you fast zigzagging, zigzagging again, don't we, for our final dinosaur, our little turkey-sized dinosaur that's going whoo, 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 whoo. and this goes fast and then slows, fast and slows, good, okay, so we have a different range of speeds in our dance, don't we? Brilliant, right, we are going to perform that twice now, thinking about the dinosaurs and their characteristics, thinking about the different speeds as well, again, really performing our dance now. Okay, so we're going to do it twice through. Okay, here we go. traveling dinosaur at the end. <laughs> Good, we can do that next week as well. Maybe we could think about how dinosaurs move and travel in the space. Well done, I bet that looked fantastic. I wish I could see them. What you can do is wind this film back. You can have a little practice with the music if you like. And if you want to, you can even create some of your own movements. So think of other ways of zigzagging across the space. You could slide, you could jump in a zigzag, couldn't you? Other ways of flying, you could actually lie on your back on the floor and use your arms like that. That would be lovely as well, couldn't you? So lots and lots of different things. We could do hours on this lesson. It's such a brilliant thing to do. We are going to carry this on next week. But for now, let's do a bit of a cool down, a little bit of breathing. And so what we're going to do is we are going to go under, over and around. So we are going to pretend we're in a jungle and think about what's in our jungle, like we did at the beginning with our sap, and the sap came from the trees, and there were huge trees, and there were long vines, and there were feathery ferns, and we are gonna move our way through this habitat. So we're gonna go under, a big tree has fallen down, but there's a small gap underneath it. Can you go all the way down quite slowly, very carefully, crawl underneath it, good. Maybe turn on your back, very slowly. Good, so we're going under. Okay, then we're gonna go over it. So let's step over the big tree trunk, okay? Don't touch it, you don't want to disturb any bugs and things that are maybe running along it. So you can step over nice and slowly, and as we're doing it, we're stretching ourselves. This is a nice little cool down. So you've got under, over and around. So how can we go around it? Well, I'm imagining there's a big fern here. And as we go around it, we go around it sideways. Okay, and I can feel it brushing on my legs. Ferns are very light on there. So we can go around there. And that's how big the fern is. I'm, it's in the middle and I'm just walking around it. Good, so let's try that again. We're gonna go under, all the way down. Good, really reach under. That's it, under. Okay, now we're gonna try going over. Big step, reach up. Over, over, other leg. Whoosh. Good, and what was the last one? Around, exactly, we're gonna go around our fern. Here, we've been under our tree trunk, over our tree trunk. And now we're gonna go around it. Feel it brushing against your legs. 
all the way around, but you don't know what's hiding in the fern, so you don't want to disturb it, do you? Very nice. There we go. Reach your arms all the way up. And imagine you've got sap on your fingers and shake it off. There we go. Reaching up, breathing in and shake that sap off. Last one, breathing in and shake that sap off. Very good. Well done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today and we're going to carry this on next time. We know there's so much to learn about dinosaurs and there's so much that we can do with dance and dinosaurs. So that's what we're going to do. Carry on. Thank you so much and see you soon.